the man who preaches against our people everywhere. He tells everybody to disobey the Jewish laws. He speaks against the temple. He defiles this holy place by bringing in Gentiles. Yes, I saw him earlier with a Gentile from Ephesus. Halt! In Caesar's name. Who are you? I am Paul of Tarsus and a Roman citizen. He brought an unbeliever into the temple. It is forbidden! Stand back, all of you! Paul of Tarsus, since you seem to have started all this, I am placing you under arrest for causing a disturbance. You're coming with us. This is Carol Cooper Action News, coming to you from the site of the massive flood that has devastated the coast of this small nation. Donations of food and medical supplies continue to pour in, and concerned people are flying in from everywhere to help, including a gentleman we've just met, Professor Quantum. Professor, can you tell us what you've brought with you? That's my family, and our friend Joy. They insisted on coming to help. Actually, Professor, I was referring to this. Oh! <laughs> This, well, yes. <clears throat> well, as you know, a big problem after any flood is polluted drinking water. But my ultraviolet chloramine-based purification system works deep in these wells to produce fresh, clean water within hours. Oh, these mosquitoes are everywhere. Do not worry, Joy. I believe the snakes will eat most of them. Eh, snakes? If they don't drown in all this mud. Oh, Chris! Joy. Could you bring four more cases of sterile gauze? Right away, Mrs. Quantum. Joy, would you please bring another case of antiseptic and more cotton swabs and free? Oh, and those suture kits. I'll be right there. Joy? <laughs> Your eyes are leaking. Oh, Giz. Chris, I just... I just can't do this. Any of it. I want to help. I really do. I felt it in my heart the minute we heard about the trouble here. But the bugs and the mud and all of those people who need help? I just didn't think it would all be so... So hard. Superbook! I am taking you to meet a man who faced obstacles that seemed impossible. Yet he never lost sight of his mission. Prisoners, halt! Captain, preparing to board the prisoners for Rome. Bring them aboard. You heard the captain. Move it along, you'll get another taste of my way. <sighs> There is no need to strike them. <laughs> what are you doing there? 
down to the hold with the rest of the prisoners. I'll teach you to try to escape. Free prisoners escape. Uh, that's better. It seems there is a flaw in this plan. Gotcha. <laughs> I think these leg irons are giving me a rash. Your friend is very unusual. Oh, yeah, he's definitely one of a kind. <laughs> you okay, Joy? Oh, Peachy. I went from mosquitoes and mud to chains and a prison ship. <sighs> My life just keeps getting better. Joy. During the time I spent in prison, I realized God's power is strongest when I'm weak. So, if he keeps giving me his power, I will gladly brag about how weak I am. Yes, I am glad to be weak or insulted or mistreated or to have troubles and sufferings, if it is for Christ. Because when I am weak, I am strong. We should all pray for smooth passage to Rome. Rome? We are going to Rome? <laughs> How exciting! I'm on my way to stand trial before Caesar. You sound almost happy about that. Stand trial for what? Well, causing a disturbance. It was in Jerusalem. I was preaching about Jesus to whomever would listen. I was accused of bringing a non-believer into the temple. It wasn't true. They demanded the Romans put me to death. But of course, they could never prove their charges. Several nights later, Jesus appeared to me in my cell. Be of good cheer, Paul. For as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness at Rome. Since then, my case has been heard before two Roman governors and King Herod Agrippa. Finally, as a Roman citizen, I had a right to be tried by Caesar himself. And so here I am, on my way to Rome. All right, which of you prisoners wants a little fresh air? I need a crew to clean the decks. Don't pick me. Please don't pick me. This can't get any worse. Joy? What about you, Christian? <laughs> That's enough! <sighs> Captain, would it be possible to loosen our shackles just while we are at sea? Captain Julius, you cannot allow this filthy bunch of slaves to- Unshackle all of them. There is nowhere they can escape. I'll be keeping an eye on you, friend. I believe there is trouble ahead if we go on. Shipwreck, loss of cargo, and danger to our lives as well. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Captain, we must continue on. 
There are not suitable harbors here. It is a poor place to spend the winter. The crew knows these waters. We should continue further up the coast to Phoenix. I beg you to reconsider. I must get to Rome safely. You have no cause for concern. The ship's captain believes his crew knows what they are doing. <laughs> what does a prisoner from Jerusalem know about the open sea? There isn't a storm we can't sail through. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pray to your God for us. Do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar. What's more, God in his goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. Jesus said, if you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. Faith, huh? Well, as a soldier, I've always relied on a sharp sword to move my mountains. Shallow water! Shallow water? That's good, right? Good? That is excellent! Only 25 of his deep, and it's getting shallower by the minute. We must be near land. Drop anchor before we hit rocks. But, Captain, do what I say. Yes, sir. 
Drop anchors! Drop anchors! See any land? Not yet. We should get back below deck. And pray daylight comes swiftly. Please, eat something now for your own good. Here, let me help. Land! Land ahead! <laughs> Prisoners escape, we'll be to blame. So I say kill them all! Starting with that one! No! There'll be no one killed on my ship. Least of all, this man. All right, I want everyone who can swim to dive in the water and head for shore. Those who can't grab anything you can find and start paddling! No problem. Hop on! <coughs> Safe at last. Just as you said. Paul, do you think anyone can be accepted by your God? Jesus welcomes all who seek him. According to my readings, we are on the island of Malta, about four days' journey from Rome. Uh, guys? Looks like we've got company. They are called marshmallows. Trust me, they go great with fish. escape the sea, justice does not allow him to live. Do not be afraid. The snake has not harmed me. It is impossible. Truly, you must be a god. I'm merely a messenger of the one true god. I'm on my way to Rome to preach his word. Your god must be very powerful. Perhaps he can help our leader's father. He is old and very ill. He 
he's been healed. You have saved my father. I can never thank you enough. You may not be a god, but you are truly a man of God. There is a ship coming in three months' time, stopping here on its way to Rome. And if that is what you wish, I promise you shall be on that ship. Meanwhile, you shall be a guest in my home. I thank you for your kindness. Paul, I don't get it. Why go to Rome? Why not stay here in Malta? These people love you. But in Rome... Thank you for your concern, Joy. Jesus told me I must bear witness in Rome. And that is what I will do. Unbelievable. After everything Paul's been through, a riot, prison, that horrible shipwreck, a deadly snake bite, it seems like nothing can stop Paul from his mission. And I was having a hard time with some mosquitoes and a little mud. Superbook! trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Back to work, huh? Does that mean it's not as hard as you thought? No. It's still hard. But I believe God wants me to do it. So that's that. Say